in the previous lecture we have seen the definitions of a segment inter segment interval half open intervals balls right and ksl as well okay uh and now we are going to define something called a convex set that is a subset of rk is said to be convex if lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y is a member of e whenever we have x and y are members of e okay where does this lambda lie it is the real value between 0 and 1 if this is so then we call the set e to be a convex set okay what does this literally mean if you see here okay uh, lambda 1 minus lambda if you choose lambda to be simply or 0 0.1 this will be 0 0.9 if you choose this to be 0 0.2 it is going to be 0 0.8 right if it is 0 0.5 it is 0 0.5 if it is 0. 8 it is 0 0.2 0 0.75 means 0 0.25 and it is going this way this means if this is your x and this is your y the line joining these two points okay the line joining these two points must entirely lie in e okay if this is going to be so then we call the set e to be a convex set okay now let us see some examples of a convex set okay uh, as of now i am not going to give you any mathematical example i am just going to explain you a concept let me consider something like this okay i have a point here i have a point here so if i join these two points by a straight line all the points on this line lies entirely inside this E. Okay, this is my metric space, or here it is RK. Okay, this is going to be so. Suppose uh, here I have shown you something, right? Like I have a point here, I have a point here. When I try to these two points by a line, I get some points which are outside the set. If that is so, this E cannot be a convex set. Okay. Here, the definition tells you that whenever you have two points inside a set, the line joining these two points has to lie entirely inside the set. If that is so, then we can say the set is a convex set. Now, let us see a particular example on R1, R2. Right. Okay what is happening in r okay that is on real line what is called as a convex set okay real line. now uh, let me choose minus 5 to 10 okay this is my set e if i take any two points on this line the line joining these two points lie entirely on E. Therefore, this E is a convex set. Now, in R, let me choose um, minus 2 to 0, 0 to minus 2, sorry, plus 2. Okay, what I am actually taking is my E is the union of minus 2, comma 0, union 0, comma 2, which means I am omitting this point. And this is also a this is also a set in R. Okay. Now I have to take any two points from this. I am taking minus one and I am taking one. Okay. If I draw a line joining these two points, I have zero inside it. But zero is not a member of this E. Therefore, this E is not a convex set. Okay. This examples might have given you the idea that on real line any closed interval or you may take open interval as well okay any kind of interval 
this is a convex set other than this okay that is the union of intervals okay disjoint union of intervals is not convex now can you extend this idea to r2 okay on r2 any circle okay any circle is going to be a convex set whatever may be the points that you take you can always draw a line joining these two points those points like entirely inside this e right even if you take rectangle that is happening so on r2 circles rectangles turn to be a convex sets if you consider any set uh, apart from these two things okay union of this okay let this be e1 and let this be e2 your e is considered to be the union of these two things if i take a point here and if i take a point here the line joining these two points lie entirely inside e okay if i take a point here and if i take a point here the line joining these two points lie entirely e but when i take a point here and another point here the line joining these two points does not lie entirely inside e therefore this e is not a convex set okay from this can you tell me what are all, what are all the possible convex sets in r3 yes it is cuboids and spheres okay now we are going to prove a result on convex sets that is balls are convex okay uh, what do we mean by ball a ball center at x with radius r is the collection of points in rk such that absolute of y minus x is less than r okay in the statement it is given to be simply balls okay now the proof is specific for open balls and later we may extend this idea to closed balls as well okay let me uh, this is the ball okay let me take two points in this ball if i take these two points in this ball this tells me that absolute of y minus x is less than r and so the absolute of z minus x is also less than r in order to prove this ball is a convex set what should we prove we need to prove lambda y plus 1 minus lambda z is also inside this ball okay if this has to be inside ball this has to satisfy what this has to satisfy the condition that lamp sorry lambda y plus 1 minus lambda z minus x is less than r okay it has to satisfy this condition just have a look we are going to prove this for which let us consider this thing okay this is for this is lambda v plus z minus lambda z minus x this is what we have without affecting its value i am adding and subtracting lambda x okay from this what i can do lambda times of y minus x okay uh, plus lambda times of x minus z plus z minus x this is what we have right so from this what can be done from this let me take minus 1 from this sorry let me take 1 let me reverse it that is minus lambda times of z minus x plus z minus x 
this is turning to be what plus 1 minus lambda times of z minus x. Now we can apply triangle inequality that tells me absolute of lambda times of y minus x plus absolute of 1 minus lambda times of z minus x. Okay, this we know this lambda value lies between 0 and 1. Okay, therefore we will get what this is uh, less than r equals lambda times of absolute of y minus x plus 1 minus lambda times of absolute of z minus x. Okay, what are these values? Absolute of y minus x is less than r. Similarly, absolute of z minus x is also less than r. So, this is going to be strictly less than lambda times of r plus 1 minus lambda times of r. Okay, this is what lambda r plus r minus lambda r which is r. So, finally what we have is absolute of lambda y plus 1 minus lambda times of z minus x is less than r. This tells you lambda y plus 1 minus lambda z is a member of this ball and this proves what? This proves your ball is a convex set. Okay? Now, we have proved this for open balls. When we need to prove this for closed balls, we will have to include this. When you include this here, you will have equal, here also you will have equal. Okay? The procedure follows till here as well. Okay? Now, since we had absolute of y minus x is strictly less than r, we had strictly less than here. Okay? Now, when we are trying to prove this for closed balls, we have less than or equals. So, here also we have less than or equals and here also the same and this proves the result is true for closed balls even. Now, in this lecture, what we have done is that we have defined a convex set and we have seen examples of a convex set in R, R2 and R3. Okay, then we prove the balls are convex. Thank you for watching this lecture and if you have any doubts you can post it in the comment section. Your doubts will be or your queries will be clarified within 24 hours of time. Thank you.